you have finally decided to deploy your own LM and you're going through the Hugging Face models. You have chosen a model that you want. In this case, I'm going to be looking at Quen3, the 600 million parameter version of this particular model. And then you're scrolling down and you're seeing the inference script that uh, pretty much comes with every model. Here you can see that you're using the Hugging Face Transformers library. And uh, essentially, this is giving you a way to create a pipeline with the tokenizer and the model. I have pretty much the same script running on a RunPod instance. And as you can see here, I'm having the RTX 2000 GPU running with CUDA 12.4. This one has roughly 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And uh, let me show you the actual script uh this is again pretty much something that you might get from the human face repository so here you can see that we are loading the model again this is the quentry 600 million parameter model with the tokenizer for it and then i'm passing in the message explain the importance of monitoring lms in production in three consigns points and then i'm running the inference itself and now I'm going to be recording the start time and the end time of the output for this particular response. I'm going to be running this script with the latest version of the Transformers library and the PyTorch library as well. As you can see, this is going to take a bit of time in order to load the model first and then it is going to be uh, saying that it is going to be using the CUDA device and then as you can see uh, roughly for about four seconds we are getting the response from this model and note that in this case I have uh, limited essentially the amount of tokens that we're going to get and the limit has been hit this is 150 output tokens for this prompt this seems quite slow. Can we improve on it? Here I have a very similar script, but this time around we are using the VOM library, something that is also found within the readme files of most of the Hungry Face models. But here the difference is primarily that we're going to be using the VOM client library. And as you can see, instead of the pipeline that we were building with the Transformers library, I'm going to be using this LOM class. I'm going to be passing in the model ID as well as the same floating type. This is the binary float 16, the same type that we were using with the Transformers library. And then from there, I'm going to be passing exactly the same prompt. And I'm going to be essentially uh, limiting the amount of tokens to 150 and the temperature is set to be zero and from there we essentially have the same script now i'm going to start the vom script and let's compare the results note that this time around since we are using the vom library this is uh, going to take a bit more time in order to load the model within the internal caching this library is much more optimized for inference so we have some pre-caching and additional steps that are done by the library in order to optimize the inference for us but as you can see it's not that slow and here you can see that the model is now completely loaded and we are getting the response and at the end we'll see that the VOM execution time was just a second so roughly we got four times faster inference of course there are some differences within the sampling parameters but we also got 150 tokens since this was the limit on the sampling parameters that we were creating now am i saying that the vom library is always going to be faster than the transformers library and that you can't optimize further the transformer script i'm not saying that but in general the vom library is quite fast in particular for using of inference on modern open lom's another very important and amazing feature of this library is that it comes with a pre-created rest api essentially you can replace your 
uh, OpenAI library with the rest or the endpoint that you're going to get from the VOM and you're going to be able to use your models in the way that you're using your OpenAI models, which is a pretty amazing. Another important thing about this library in particular is that it is supporting different types of quantization out of the box. And this is really handy if you want to get even faster models that run on much smaller devices in terms of VRAM. Also, the library itself comes with a paged attention implementation, which essentially allows you to package the RAM required for your models to run in a much more compact way, which was the primary innovation of this library. So again, if you want to get a look at the VOM library, and if you want to get a bit more deeper dive into how the library works and how it can be used in a complete LOM ops package in order to deploy and observe your LOMs, there will be a live bootcamp session that starts with this particular topic. So if you want to join the live bootcamp sessions that are going to be tomorrow on November 8th and November 9th, I'm going to be adding a link down into the description of this video that is going to point you to this page. Here you can see the complete schedule along with the agenda for both of those days. And if you want to join, I'm going to be able to welcome you there and we're going to be having a live conversation within the lectures and the labs. So if you want to become a better AI engineer, go and subscribe to ML Expert Pro. I'm going to see you there. Bye.